You decide to order a drink. Yes, sir. You slapped. Yes, I'd like to order a drink for myself and the、uh, <coughs> beautiful young lady floating beside me. Very good, sir. Do you have any identification? Ah yes, sir. What would you like? I'd like a tequila sunrise, and、uh, how about a King Alphonse for the lady? I'm sorry, sir. This is a health spa. We only have healthful drinks here. Instead of that poison you ordered, I'll bring you something better. A seaweed sunrise, and、um, a King Alphonse for the lady. Seaweed. Ugh. How about a frozen daiquiri? Frozen daiquiri? Oh, you mean a frozen broccoli? Coming right up. Here you are, sir. That will be fifty dollars. Like I care. As long as you charge it to my room. Here you go, babe. Enjoy your drink. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, these drinks are watered down. What did you expect? I have to carry them underwater. I couldn't help but notice you. Hanging out here at the pool bar. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Larry. Larry Laffer. <laughs> Laughter? <laughs> Whatever. Anyway, I'm Marilee. Is your drink okay, Mayor? Oh, sure. Good enough. I'm not picky. I just try to stay happy all the time. You certainly have a beautiful smile, Mayor. You must be enjoying yourself immensely. Oh no, I'm miserable actually. In fact, I'm more than just a little pissed off at La Costa Lada's silly management and their strict adherence to local laws. Why, Mayor? Whatever is the matter? Is there anything I can do? Concerned about little me, but really, there's nothing you can do. This monkey I've got to carry on my own back. No one can break an addiction for you. I must handle it by myself. Addiction? Local laws? Mayor, are you in some sort of trouble? Is it drugs? All right. Here's our chance to add some socially redeeming value to this little saga. Drugs? How gauche! It's nothing so mundane as that. No, it's worse, far worse. Larry, I, I may as well be honest with you. I, I suffer from, from, I, I, I suffer from. B A. It's punchy addiction. You're addicted to luggage tie downs. No, silly, bungee jumping. I want to do nothing in life but jump. Well, it started simply enough. A first small hit at a friend's party, then cranes at local county fairs. Later, a few bridges here and there. But I got to the point where I had to have more, constantly more, higher, deeper, longer. I was going down 40 or 50 times a day. I graduated to balloons, but even that wasn't enough. But then I heard about La Costa Lata. Here, this place. <laughs> Get your head out of the bikinis, Larry, and take a look straight up. 
I don't get it. You should be overjoyed to have a setup like this. What's the problem? These provincial thinkers. That's what's wrong. They have some sort of stupid law that limits you to 10 jumps per day. I'm not sure, but uh, isn't there something in the Constitution about this? Yeah, in the part about the right to arm bears, I think. Oh, that there was. And do you know what's worse? You mean, there's something worse than only getting to bungee jump ten times per day? Uh, what is it? Well, I've, I've gotten to the point where I can only become sexually aroused if I'm high in the air, tied up with long rubber ropes. Mm-hmm. Oh, Larry, have you figured out a way for me to gain access to the bungee jumping tower yet? No, but... I'm giving it lots of thought. Gee, with those huge bolts of green cloth in the way, you can hardly tell what her breasts look like. Her arms look freckalicious. You'd love to kiss every inch of Merrily's befreckled neck. But why stop there? The way her lips are slightly parted, you can just tell she really wants it. Wants what? You know, it. Oh yeah, I know. I think. Merrily Lowe is the perfect woman for you, Larry. She makes up in the body department for what she lacks in brains. Merrily Lowe has thick, wavy, strawberry blonde hair. In fact, Merrily is strawberry cheesecake. Hey now, what kind of girl do you think I am anyway? Well, I was hoping you were. One of those sleazy babes you met in Larry 2 or 3. Well, yeah. Well, you'll never find out that way. As you stroke Merrily's arm, her freckles seem to quiver with delight. You run your fingers through Merrily's hair. Ow! Oh, I'm sorry. I left a bobby pin in there somewhere. Hoping she'll suck on your fingers, you casually wave your hand in front of her face. Oh, gotta go! Bye! <laughs> that tickles! Wow, look at that! My boyfriend has one of those, only his sticks out. Billy D, La Costellata's full-time lifeguard, is fit and trim, handsome and sexy, stylish and hip. He was recently voted Lifeguard Magazine's best mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitator in the prestigious single woman category. Um, I notice people are getting something from you. Uh, what is it? Um, may I get something too? Sir, besides the important job of Guarding lives here at the pool. I'm also responsible for maintaining stricter security over our combination high diving tower and bungee jumping platform. The gate to the tower, which you may have noticed over there, well, it's kept securely locked at all times. Uh, no one, and I mean absolutely no one, is allowed admittance without proving their qualifications to yours truly. Guess safety is our first concern here at La Costa Lada. We can't afford to have any of our paying customers injured in any way. You understand? Oh, I'm not a paying customer. I'm here on a freebie. Oh, well, here you go, pal. <laughs>